Greetings, my friend, and welcome back to Hypeo. Today is the day, as we are finally going to unbox, assemble, and test my lovely prototype, aka Project Stand 4. This is also the starting point of two very, very fascinating experiments. One of them being the first community project of this channel. And I'm very excited about this, so let's get started. Finally, after more than 500 days, we are unboxing my prototype. And I can tell you, I was waiting for this. So when opening it, I was pretty excited. Wow! Oh, oh boys, it was a real pleasure. It's like a present you've made to yourself. A gift from the past, especially after all of the wait. That's so many stuff. Let's go up. And at this moment you're just smiling because this is where start the excitement you get from the process. So when you unveil your part, you just react like this. This is amazing. The first joy comes from you contemplating the result of your hard work. You remember all of the detail on the part, pim insert hole, bending shape and all of that. You know it's somehow like meeting old friends. You're immediately remembering many, many great moments. But in this case, it's about all of those nice little designing details. Oh, I know, there's so much stuff to explain here. But hey, it's on my roadmap. A whole series of videos teaching how to design and manufacture such a product. Just look at that. I mean, seriously. Can you imagine the special feeling you get from creating something that you're proud of? So let's recap. We have an assembly of 12 pieces. Firstly, we have the top and bottom part of the enclosure for the Flex ATX. Then we have the top and bottom panel of the case. In between, we have the middle panel, allowing us to attach the back panel and the front panel, to which we can mount either the front cover with a cutout for a custom design or a full plate. Finally, we just have to add these two masterpiece, beautiful panel that go on each side. Oh, and of course, let's not forget our lovely little handle. And that's all we need to start our build. First, we assemble the power supply enclosure. For that, while thinking about some good memories, I pick up some nice little standoff and the power button. Then I put them in their place, which I'll let you see how. Of course, as the creator of this case, I knew it by heart and didn't need any blueprint or manual. After that, we pass all of the wires through the main hole. And then, we screw everything together. And yes, we're done with the bottom case. Let's move on to the top assembly. Starting with the middle frame, we attach the side panel and the main component. What is cool is that all panels are independent, which means that we can remove them for more convenience. Like here, where I obviously forgot to add the motherboard I shield. Oh, by the way, I'm glad to be back into this hobby. There is stuff I need to continue and it's really cool to share them with you. Now that our GPU is plugged in, our top assembly is done. And we just have to put one on top of the other. Then we connect these two parts, making sense of everything. We are almost done, as we now attach the front panel to the top assembly. And this front panel have its own front cover which let us hide all of this wiring mess. Now all of what's left is to add these two side panels, with also the handle, and we will finally be done with the prototype. Finally.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for excitement. Today, I've shared with you what it's like to assemble your own beloved creation. However, there's just so much more behind that. What you must understand is that being able to create anything you think of is an endless power. And my humble goal here is to push each one of you to create something. I'm betting that if we help each other, we will do some crazy stuff on so many fields. This is something that deeply motivates me. Something that will mean everything in the future. So, as an example of what you can do alone with 150 bucks, ladies and gentlemen, I present you Project Stand 4. Obviously, we have to see this thing is working. So, you know, it's a pure moment of happiness when you realize that what you have designed work as expected. I really wish that each one of you get to experience this in your life, and I will do my best to help you here. Okay, listen carefully, this is important. As this video was taking too much time to be released, Again, I had to remove half of its content to upload it sooner. So there will be a third and last part to finish this series, in which we will talk about two very exciting ideas I would like to try with this case. The first one is about removing every standoff and making the top case levitate. It's a fancy, complicated mod, but it will be worth it because, guys, if this work, I may be the first one in the world to technically make a PC case levitate. How cool is that? And you will be my witness, right? Anyway, if making a PC case that levitate is interesting for you, then join my community and let's work on that together. If not, maybe that the second idea will get your attention, in which we will be removing every wire to replace them with custom PCBs. I'm talking about HCP1, the power lines. Okay, so you know water cooling, right? You know soft tubing and hard tubing. What if I tell you that a power line is to a wire, what a hard tube is to a soft tube? So yes, in two words, what we are going to do is hardwiring our build. This is certainly an ambitious project that will bring some fresh air in the PC tech industry. If you are already excited, well, you're right, smart friend. It's because you just understood the potential of this project. <laughs> This project is gonna need so much more video. If you're an electrical engineer or magnet lover, come with us, we're having fun in this channel. And welcome to all of those who will join us today, making us rise slowly but surely. And yeah, I guess that's all. See you next month, goodbye.